What if this race car could perform off-road just as well as on a flawless track? The key to this is variable stiffness. In fact, we already have this capability built up in our bodies. Muscles switch back and forth instantaneously between strength and dexterity. Our joints get stiff if they are lifting a heavy load and soft if they're performing a delicate task. HRL has developed a new technology that improves on this amazing system. Engineers call stiffness the ability of a structure to resist a load. For example, this ruler is really stiff in tension and soft in bending. Now if I take this ruler, buckle it, and then try to move the center, it no longer resists the load that I'm putting on it. It actually pulls my hand through. We call this instability negative stiffness. Now when you put one of these negative stiffness systems in parallel with the traditional positive stiffness system, those stiffnesses add. And if you can get them just right, they can add to zero. By putting actuators at the ends of our buckled beams, we can turn the negative stiffness on and off very quickly. And because buckled beams are so sensitive to the force at the end, we can soften stiff systems up to 100 times in milliseconds. Most structures, like robotic arms or truck suspensions, are stiff. And they're stiff because stiff systems are very good at supporting a variety of loads, like a heavy load or a light load, without moving too much. Now the problem with stiff structures, of course, is if I shake the base, that shaking gets transmitted all the way up to the top, and you'll feel it if you're up there. The beauty of soft systems is that they isolate, so if they shake the bottom, usually that shaking won't get to the top as much. Now the problem with soft systems is if you change the load, they bottom out and you can't isolate anymore. But with adaptive stiffness, it's very easy to adjust the softness to hold a light mass or heavy mass with the same system. This system also allows us to isolate or transmit vibration on demand. With HRL system, you can switch between stiff and soft at the push of the button. This can give us adaptive stiffness robotic joints that are just as graceful with a paintbrush as they are lifting heavy tools. In the future, HRL is looking forward to making more human-like robots and giving you a more comfortable ride wherever you may go. The HRL research team's findings, Dynamically Variable Negative Stiffness Structures, has been published in a February 2016 issue of Science Advances.